Hi, I'm Linda Breds, and I'm going to show you how to make some small gum paste flowers that are easy decorations for cupcakes, cookies, cakes, and they're a lot of fun to make. Here I have some gum paste that you can buy ready-made in cake decorating stores or online resources. I'm going to take just a little piece, roll it in my hand into a ball, and I'm working on a non-stick mat. In front of me, I have some vegetable shortening and some cornstarch. Both of those are used to help keep the gum paste from sticking to the mat. I'm taking a very, very little bit of vegetable shortening. I'm rubbing it all over. I don't want to see any white. And I'm going to start to flatten my gum paste. And this is a special small fondant rolling pin, which you can also get in cake decorating supplies, stores, and online resources. And I'm rolling the gum paste very, very thin. While I'm rolling it, I'm lifting it up from time to time to make sure it does not stick to my mat. Even though I'm working on a non-stick mat, it may stick anyway. So I constantly lift it. Very thin. You're going to think, oh, that's thin enough. And it's probably not. Gum paste is made to be rolled paper thin. I'm looking at a thinness like this for these flowers. I have three small five petal cutters, which again you can buy in any cake or gum paste decorating resource. I'm going to cut some big ones first, the biggest of them. I go, just press down very hard and I actually twist the cutter just a little bit to make sure I get all the edges. I'm going to start with four. Then I'm going to lift them, take them off and put them on this gum paste sponge so I can make them look even prettier. I'll start with two. I have here what's referred to as a boning tool. This helps thin out the gum paste and make the flowers look even more realistic. What I do is I work right on the edge of each petal and I go over it with the boning tool and see how it's thinning out the petal, making it look much more like a flower. I'm going to do it with this one here too. The sponge helps give me some give so that it thins out nicely. Now I'm going to take off just the top part of the sponge and I'm going to put my boning tool right in the middle of the flower and see how it pops up the flower. Very pretty. Now I'm going to put it aside to dry. They need to dry for at least two hours, preferably 24 hours. You want them to be hard when you go to color them or decorate them. I'm going to just do one more quickly. And there we go. Now I want to show you how to color the gum paste decorations. You can color the gum paste beforehand, but I often work in white gum paste and then color it afterwards. You do need special colors though. We're using powdered food coloring, which again you have to get at specialty cake decorating stores. And you use it a lot like a blush, for those of you who put blush on your cheeks. What I do, I'm going to start with the pink here. I'm going to dip my paintbrush in the pink powder and tap off the excess. I'm going to start with my big flower here. And very delicately, I'm just going to brush along the edges, getting more powder as I need it. And I want to keep my, the middles white. I find when I have two different colors, it adds a little more pizzazz, if you will. It makes the flower look a little more realistic. And so you can see what that flower looks like with just a little color. I'll do one more. I'm just going over the edges a little bit. And you can even do less of the edges if you want more white. Or you could just go into the middle if you wanted the middle pink. That's really up to you. I also have this peach color here. I can use two colors on the flower, which I will show you. So now I'm going to go into the peach. So now I have two colors in that flower. And that gives it a different look. I can um, add a little pearl to make a center for the flower or roll up a little piece of gum paste. See, I'm making it a tiny, tiny, tiny little circle. And I'm going to put that right in the center, press it down, and now I have a center for that flower. Not too complicated. Now for the little ones, I'm going to do something a little different because they're so small, it's very hard to paint them. So I have here a small bowl with some powdered food coloring. These are already dried and hardened. I'm just going to take them and dump them in here and smoosh them around. 
they're in the peach color. Now again, they don't have to be perfectly um, colored. I just want them to get a little color so they have something. And I'm kind of brushing off the excess. And there we go. They have a little color now. And they're ready to go and put on your cupcakes, cookies, cakes, or whatever else you want to decorate with them. Thank you.